Investigators are trying to figure out exactly what sparked the fire that torched Rockcastle County's El Cazador restaurant. Yeah, people there are left without that popular restaurant and the employees without a place to work. Conroy Deluche has more from Mount Vernon and the LEX 18 Big Story at 5.30. Just two hours after closing time, Julian Betancourt watched in disbelief. It's hard to see, you know, 10 years working, going and just a couple hours. His restaurant, El Cazador, left in ruins. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be next. With the smoke and flames extinguished, the fire trucks left just before 5 a.m. From the back side, you can see through shattered windows the extent of the damage to the inside of the restaurant. You have inserated insulation, destroyed tables and chairs, the whole inside charred in black. The employees want to have a job today, and, and it, it's just sad for everybody and sad for our county. One month ago, another pillar in the community, the depot in Livingston, was also destroyed by a fire. We don't have a lot in, the, in this county, and this is just another hard blow to us. Smith says the restaurant hosted countless birthday parties, get-togethers, and date nights. He still craves his favorite meal, the Guerrero Special, and wants to help Betancourt rebuild if that option is on the table. We won't do anything we can to keep them here in Rockcastle County because we, we need them. Covering the news in Rockcastle County, Conroy Deluche, LEX 18 News. The Mount Vernon Fire Department says the fire appears to have started in the kitchen of the restaurant. A motel next door was empty because of renovations and was not damaged. There's already a fundraising effort to help the restaurant rebuild. You can find a link on our website, lex18.com.